Luke 24 verse 49 the effect of the outpouring the effect of the outpouring yesterday we looked at the importance of the outpouring behold I send you the promise of my father But tarry ye here in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Outpouring is the release of the resources and capitals from heaven so that the believer can take on the world, so that the believer can subdue principalities and powers. And establish the immutability of God's counsel here on earth. Outpouring is a release of resources. It is a release of capital from heaven. So that the believer can have sufficient capital and resources. To take on the world. And take on this generation. Because the scripture says. For it shall come to pass. That the kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. But he said to them, tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power. Don't be in a hurry to represent me. Don't be in a hurry to run into your generation. Because it is by tarry, child of God, that we pay the price of all of God and none of us. It is by tarry, child of God, we pay the price of alignment, the price of sacrifice, so that we can host God in our spirit. God is a king spirit. God is not a democrat. He decides when he releases it. But he said, tarry. When you tarry, you are to carry. And until you carry, keep tarrying. Keep tarrying. That's why we are here for 31 days tarrying so that we can carry. No one is allowed to go until he goes with you. No one is allowed to go until something sits on you. No one is allowed to go until he carries something extraordinary, something invisible. I pray for somebody. The power of God is coming upon you. Your spiritual muscles will increase. Your horsepower will increase. Your capacity will increase. What you couldn't dare, you will dare. Where you couldn't reach, you will reach. What you couldn't handle, you will tackle. What you couldn't attack, you will attack. Because capacity is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. That is why you must carry. You must carry. You must carry. You must carry. See, see, sir. Outpouring changes our internal combustion. Outpouring changes our internal horsepower. Tarrying changes our capacity to carry things that we couldn't carry. As we have tarried these 35, these 31 days, I decree and declare the hand of the Lord shall rest upon you like a tsunami. Yeah. So outpouring therefore enables us to bring the enterprise of heaven to the nations of the earth. It enables us to deposit the resources of heaven on the face of the earth. So that men can begin to wear and carry God. Hear me and hear me well. This meeting is not organized for fun fair. This program is organized so that something inside you can shift so that the things outside you can be impacted. <laughs> you cannot be casual about this experience. It's a deep experience that requires all of your attention. Because heaven wants to move on your behalf. I prophesy after tonight. You shall be, a, you shall be an advertisement of the unlimited dimension of your way. In every aspect of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. From tonight, I declare, anything that makes you small must die by fire. It must die by fire. Because you see, outpouring helps us to carry God in a large content, in a large container. And I declare to somebody here, 
The glory of God shall overwhelm you, shall overshadow you, shall overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. What is the effect and the impact of this outpouring? Because of time, I don't want to go into definitions, but I want to give you the effect. Number one, by outpouring, sir, we become creatures of sound. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were together in one accord. Suddenly, suddenly, there was <laughs> a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. It filled all the house that they were sitting and clothing tongues as of fire sat on them. And they began to speak. They were filled with what? The Holy Ghost. They, there was an outpouring. And they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Sir, outpouring enables us to produce sounds. The sounds of the Spirit. Our entire essence as believers is to find expression through the sounds we make. Your destiny will have no future. Your life will make no progress until you begin to make right sounds. Outpouring enable us to make the necessary sound that we bat our deliverance, that we bat our breakthroughs, that we bat our manifestation, that we bat our glory. I prophesy to you, sir. Grace to make sound is already on you in the name of Jesus. The realm of the spirit cannot deliver until they hear your sound. Evil salvation is not established without a sound. If thou shalt believe in the heart and confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus, thou shalt be saved. So, child of God, we enter salvation by sound. We sustain salvation by sound. Can I talk to you, sir? Christianity is an operation of sound. A soundless Christian is a dead Christian. We triumph by the kind of sound we make. Job 19, 13, Job said, if I hold my tongue, I will give up the ghost. To remain an active participant in the game of spirits, you must make active sounds. You must go on speaking. Can I talk to you, sir? Can I talk to you, sir? The kind of sound you make, the term is the kind of spirit you will trap. Many of you have not trapped the spirit of prosperity. You have not trapped the spirit of divine health. You have not trapped the spirit of progress. Because you are not making sounds that will attract such spirits. You are a product of the sounds you make. Where you are today is your sound that brought you here. Where you will be tomorrow is the sound you are making today. Child of God, the realm of the spirit can manage a blind man of God. He can manage a crippled native doctor. He can manage a deaf man of God. But the spirit realm cannot manage a dumb man of God. Because the spirit realm can't find expression until there is articulation. 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 All trance is a function of the outpouring. Where there is outpouring, you command oracular grace. Where there is outpouring, sir, there is verbalization. There is articulation. There is description for manifestations. Words, sounds are conveyors of spirits. The spirit you trap is at the mercy of the sounds you make. If you are tracking the spirit of failure, it's because you are making the sounds of failure. If you are tracking the spirit of poverty, it's because your sound is that of poverty. Say not who shall go up and bring Christ down. For the word is near thy mouth. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in your heart, thou shalt be saved. Saved from cancer. Saved from poverty. Saved from shame. Saved from oppression. Saved from household wickedness. Vimila till I overflow. Vimila till I overflow. Oh, Vimila till I overflow.
my spirit till I overflow. Philemon chapter 1 and verse 16. The scripture says that the communication of thy faith may be effectual. Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6. That the communication of thy faith may be effectual by the acknowledging of every good things which is in you in Christ Jesus. If you don't acknowledge them and communicate them by being vociferous, you will die without testimony. Can I have a little water? Romans chapter number 15 and verse number 4. He said that which I previously wrote, that whatsoever things we are written are four times. They were written for our learning. That we through the patience and comfort of scriptures may have hope. Scriptures releases the comfort that we need in life. But scriptures cannot be effective until a man carries it and says it. Bullet on the ground is useless. The bullet within the confine of a gun, where there is trigger, hey, hey, the impact of bullet is by trigger. Your words are the triggers of scriptures. Oh. Oh. That was why on the day of Pentecost, Peter spoke with the voice of a war veteran. He spoke with the utterance of the learned. Because the spirit of God is the spirit that enables our speakings. It empowers our speakings. It empowers our speaking faculties. Because the spirit realm will not give you until they hear your sayings. What you don't say, you can never have. Look at me, sir. The spirit of breakthrough travels in the direction of the sound of breakthrough. Where there is no sound, there is no release. God said to Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 41. He said, go and tell Ahab. Elijah said to Ahab, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I run? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. Oh, I am your own. Oh, I am your own. To the day you will come, Jesus, I am your own. Ladies and gentlemen, how far you go is at the mercy of your sound. When the outpouring came, one of the major impact it made is that their vocabulary was altered. Illitre spoke like university dons, such that 3,000 years after they are dead, people are still going to university. To obtain doctorate and professorial offices because of their writings. What they said became a lecture note in university. What a schoolman said, people were obtaining degree from it. What Peter said, some people went to school to learn it, just to learn his sayings. They obtain doctorate because of vocabulary. <laughs> the utterance of the spirit is located by your speaking. Anytime we make sounds, we give prescription to the energy and the essence of the Holy Ghost in our life. Child of God, the possibilities that are in the spirit they are vetoed by our sound. When we don't make sound, the spirit realm can't release. 
Because everything you will ever become first happens in the spirit. Because everything we see here, we are created by the intangibles. Until there are traffickers or paranormal articles. Men who know how to speak, the realm of the spirit cannot vomit. Because God will never do anything until he says it. Can I talk to you, sir? Everything you see in scripture was spoken before it manifested. God is counting on your sounds to release the possibilities of your destiny. So outpouring came to enhance our, our vocabulary faculty so that we can speak with utterance like never before. He gives me the tongue of the wise and the lips of the prudent. To fail interview as a believer is an insult. Because you've been given the mandate to express yourself through divine vocabularies. Sounds are not just creators of possibilities. But nothing works until men make sounds. Numbers chapter 6 and verse 23. God said to Moses, You shall bless the children of Israel by this manner. On this wise, you will invoke blessing. How do you evoke blessing? By saying. By saying unto them, The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. May he be gracious unto thee. May he lift up the light of his countenances upon you and give you peace. Every reality is prosecuted by our sounds. Every possibilities of God are made manifest by our sound. If you are soundless, sir, you are powerless in the realm of the spirit. You are as powerful as the sounds you make. That is why Romans chapter 8 verse 26 said, Likewise the Spirit helped our infirmity. For we know not what we ought to pray. We don't know what we need to say. But hear me sir. This outpouring brings the Spirit to our level. Where he sees our infirmity. We make articulations and utterances. And we verbalize with words that cannot be altered. So anytime we want anything from God, we must trust the spirit of outpouring to assist us make articulation so that we can get manifestation. The battles of your life will be judged by the sound you make. Blessing comes by sound. Evil rapture will take place by sound. For the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. The trumpet of the Lord shall sound. Ah, the dead in Christ shall rise fresh. And we that are alive shall be caught up in the sky. Evil rapture is by sound. Anytime God arrives, he introduces himself by sound. When there was an outpouring, sound preceded his arrival. For you to see anything, you must make sound. No, you didn't hear what I said. He said in Joel chapter 2, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Sound alarm in my holy mountains. Hear me, sir. End time soldiers are mobilized by sound. Sound is the activators of seasons. The seasons of your life is governed by the sound of your life. If you are tired of this season you are, you want another season, make another sound. Sounds are controllers and activators of seasons. Seasons are duration in which certain things must happen. A season can be one year, can be 10 years, can be 50 years, can be 70 years. But hear me, sir. What determines a season is by the sound you make. Jesus entered the wilderness, made some sound in the wilderness. And the Bible says, and the devil lived him for a season. You are my life giver. You are my life changer. Jehovah. The 
covenant keeping God. Oh, you are destiny changer. You are mountain mover. Jay, oh. They call them and keep in God. Sounds are creators. They create anything you want. The judgment of Jericho was done by sound. Go around Jericho six days. Once. On the seventh day, go around it seven times. On the seventh time, make a sound. There's a sound that invites angels. Make a sound. Your Jericho will go down. At the end of this service, we will make some sound. Your sound will travel to your village. It will go to again and go there. It will go to Oromi. It will go, it will go. I said it will go. I said it will go to your village. It will go to Abo. It will go to Shekiri land. It will, it will, it will go to Irobo lands. I tell you, your sound will travel. Two, four, seven. Every day you come, you come through for me. I have no many. I have nothing in law. You show forth for me. What did I do to deserve this kind of love? Oh, what did I do to see that you're right, son? What did I do? Oh, Lord. Any altar can be handled by sound. The sound you make will judge the altars of your family. All this one that I am praying in my heart is a useless prayer. Any prayer that does not find expression through your tongue is not effective. Your will is useless without your declaration. Sir, to remain an active participant in the game of spirit, you must be vociferous. Mm. And my confidence is in God. Cannot create anything until there is a sound. Heaven will not release anything until there is a sound. Your health is at the mercy of the sound you make. Your modification is at the mercy of the sound you make. The kind of good things that will answer to you is at the mercy of the sound you make. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon us, he makes us to make sufficient sound, effective sound, effectual sound, sound that penetrate and pierce into the regions of the spirit. Tonight, I create what you are looking for. I call it forth from the regions of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. This 31 days, we are fasting. What are we doing? We are making sounds. We are making what? Sounds. Because sounds are vehicle of transportation. They transport intangible substance and convert them to tangible realities. Second, First Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. The Bible says our prayers is expressed by sound. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. You know why these idols are dumb and they, they can't walk? Because they can't speak. Paul called their idol dumb. Then 1 Corinthians 14, 14. <laughs> Paul says something. 1 Corinthians 14. He said, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth. My understanding is unfruitful. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 2. Let's look at something here. He says, 14 and verse 2. He said, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, Speak not unto men, but unto God. <laughs> For no man understandeth, he help it in the spirit. He speaketh mystery. Tongues is the highest form of communication in the realms of the spirit. Hear me, sir. Where there is no sufficient English, convert it to tongue. Never be found keeping quiet. Because if you keep quiet, you'll be buried. In the school of dominion, your tongue draws a conclusion. If you are not ready to make sound, go and die because you'll be buried. I pray for somebody here. Receive fire to make the actual sound. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
receive that fire receive that fire in the name of jesus can i shock you sir the sound we make captures the voice of god in our life that i say when you make sound god speaks and there are some sounds you make sir god will travel he will never answer you every man that brought god to his generation brought god by right sounds Look at the three Hebrew boys. Our God is able to deliver us. Even if he does not. Look at the kind of sound they made. No wonder the fourth man was waiting for them in the fire. Can I talk to you, sir? Can I talk to you, sir? If you can make sufficient sounds, there is nothing you can command in this life. You hear me? Your destiny is at the mercy of the sound you make. So one of the impacts of the Holy Ghost, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, is so that we can be men of all trance. So that we can be vociferous, so that we can be tranquil, so that our speaking will have no limitation. Our speaking organs is capacitated, is capacitated. Our speaking organs is enhanced. So we give expression to the intentions of spirit concerning our destiny. Hey, if I hear your amen, your language changes now. Sound is the package that wraps the voice of God. Sound indicates where God is. Sound is what determines our prosperity in the school of the spirit. Prayer flows by sound. The sound of prayer is where the force of the spirit is directed. Hear the sound. Sound opens you to the dimensions of God. I hear the Holy Ghost spoke to my right ear. That some of you after this service, you will pray in a dimension that you never believe you can pray. That is why if you are a stammerer, get ready to speak well. Because the spirit is the spirit that arranges your articulation. Stammering is not allowed in this kingdom. Once the spirit sits on you, it corrects your tongue. Your tongue becomes like the pen of the ready writer. You speak with velocity. You speak with utterance. You speak with perversity. You speak with fire. You speak with grace. Demons respect you by your words. The realm of the spirit respects you by your words. Everything that shall be given to you is at the mercy of your speakings. If I hear your amen, something is entering your tongue. That is why on the day of Pentecost, they spoke, they spoke, they spoke, they spoke, they spoke, they spoke. If you can speak, it can be released. If you can say it, it can be your reality. If you can declare it, it can be your manifestation. If you can say it, you can handle it. What you don't say, you can have. Spirit sit on me. So that my utterance can be strong. Spirit sit on me. So that I will speak with the voice of a war veteran. Spirit sit on me. So that I will command oracular unction. Spirit sit on me. So that I can speak with the backings of heaven. My tongue is the pen of the ready writer. That is what it means, sir. Salvation is gotten by speakings. We sustain our deliverance by speaking. The outpouring came to substantiate, to edify, to strengthen our speakings. Can I talk to you, sir? The sound you make determines the presence you command. The presence of God is at the mercy of the sound. When demons are pursuing you, it's because of the sounds you are making. When you begin to make sounds like the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, my lies have fallen unto me in pleasant places. Everything is working for my good. No power can work against me. Money is coming to my life. Favor is coming to my life. My friend, that is a sound. Listen, even religion that don't know the kind of God you have, every religion strives by sound. I come from the northern state. From age two, they will throw you to Karatu. You will learn alone. From morning, ten o'clock to four p.m. Another set will come from five. To ten p.m. They are chanters. Sir, sir, if outpouring does not make a chanting capacity out of you, you have missed the purpose of outpouring. 
Life is about chanting. Oh, kujeke, elan no no sata. Meet them with chest B. As they are counting the chest B, they are chanting. Have you met a Catholic before? He can chant. Have you met Hindu before? Hindus can chant. Have you met Buddha before? Buddhas are chanters. Have you met syncretism? They are chanters. Any religion that is thriving, that command followers of men, they are chanters. And Christianity is the highest of all chanting. Hosele Dirik Ezeke Abube Oyena Tueze Rebi Ebi O Dimosi Nine Anamo Wisiala Anasinso Kajiho Vamdim Yanisa you need this outpouring of sound because it is the bad place of substance. Every substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen, is made, a real, made reality by our sound. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. He said, how did Abraham quicken the dead? How did God quicken the dead? How did God did it? He said, I made thee the father of all nations before whom he believed. Even God who quickened the dead. How does he quicken the dead? How does he bring dead business back to life? How does he quicken dead marriage? How does he quicken dead ministry? How does he quicken dead business? How does he quicken dead family? By calling those things. Jesus, my all in all. By calling those things that be not as though they were. Sir, sound help us to bad substance. That's why every pregnant woman goes to do ultrasound so that she can see what she wants to give birth. Hey, your miracle is seeable. Your miracle is touchable. If a woman that is pregnant by ultrasound can see her baby, you can see your car before it arrives. You can see your husband before it arrives. You can see your breakthrough before it arrives. How do you see it? By calling those things that be not Look at your neighbor. Say, hey, I am highly monificated. Say, hey, I smell monious. Say, I'm monified. I'm monitious. I'm monitated. I am monificated. I smell monious. And my confidence is in you, is in you. I put my trust in you, and in you, Jesus. I'm not alone. You're with me. You're with me. One with God is majority. Ah. Hey! It was God that told Elijah, "Show yourself to Ahab. I will send rain." But God will never give it even when he has said it. Until you say it. You must take his word and make it your word. Only then can you personalize God in your life. Hey, if I hear your sound this day. Whatever you are looking for is entering your life now. Call for to your money. Call for to your husband. Call for to your car. Call for to your children. Call for it. Call it forth. Call it forth. Call it forth. Mm. Call it, call that visa. You are, you are, she's a yokli. Ah, Kato, Kato, you are mighty on your throne. You are right, you are Break for, break for, break for, spirit of the deep. 
are mighty on the earth. You are mighty on the earth. I prophesy. Did you make a sound? Now I decree. Within 48 hours. See the manifestation. See the reality. Of the sound you are making. Do like this. See that. Number two importance of the outpouring is to make us creatures of light. Not only we are creatures of sound, but we are to become creatures of light. Sir, God cannot be known except by light. The things of the spirit cannot be prosecuted except by light. We are children of light. We are the light of the world. A city set upon the hill. We cannot be covered. Light is the essence of God. Communicated to man. We can never see our expectation. Until we begin to interact with light. Can I talk to you sir? God cannot walk except by light. You will never see the workings of God. Until you introduce light. God operates within the confines of light. The operations of God are enhanced by light. If there is no sufficient light, God does not move. Woo. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was without form. And the earth was void. And darkness covered the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the water. When God showed up, he said, let there be light. God will never do anything in your life. Until he introduces light. Light is the parameters. Light is the a future with which God works and functions. Satan can't function except by darkness. God can't function except by light. Anything that has no light, God is not inside. So anything you are not lighted for, don't put your hand. Any business you have not command light, don't enter. You must be lighted. Every shady thing must not be allowed around your life. Because the Bible says every dark thing is brought to light. I prophesy to somebody here. Light is entering your spirit. 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 The only way you can reach this personality call your way is by light. Without light, sir, it is impossible to touch God. The means by which we can reach God and touch him is by light. The transaction of light is the communication of God to another man. John chapter 8 and verse 12. The Bible said the life of God is expressed by his light. Anytime we express his life, it's because we are expressing his light. Jesus spoke unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This life functions by light. The extent to which you function in this life is at the mercy to the extent of light you command. When you have little light, you have little life. Internal life is a function of light. Anywhere you are lighted is where God manifests. Can I talk to you, sir? He said, you are the light of the world. You cannot walk in darkness. The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Can I talk to you, sir? The life of God in this kingdom is expressed by the light of God. So light is the effusions of the life of God. The life of is the light the life is the light giving life the life of God became the light of man so light is a means by which God can be rich by which God can be touched anytime God reaches you there is a transference of light anytime there is an outpour there is the release of a future can I talk to you, sir? Light 
is eternity in manifestation. Light is heaven in manifestations. Can I talk to you, sir? And our fellowship with God is only in the light. First John 1 17. He said, For our fellowship is with the, with the light. Sir, anything outside light, you can't find God. When God wanted to create the heavens and the earth, He first introduced light before He could walk. For God to touch anything in your life, it must be by the means of light. Can I prophesy to you? Yes. That light will hit your spirit this day. Yes. You are living here lighted, illuminated, uh -huh. totally saturated. Uh -huh. He can know manakata. Uh -huh. First John 1 17. We are called to walk in the light. We are called to walk in the light. Uh -huh. So light is the source of all spiritual power. Put it for me, first John 1 17. Light is the source of all spiritual power. Hear me, sir. Any area you are most afflicted is an area you are not lighted. Anytime light alive, darkness disappears. Tonight, darkness will leave your marriage. It will leave your family. Yeah. And, uh, somebody shall let there be light. Let there be light. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. Media, please. Don't leave me alone. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined it in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Where does the light shine? In our hearts. To give what? Light of the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus. The verse 7 said there are treasures on 18 vessels. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Hear me. The treasure of God is light. Any man in possession of light is in possession of the greatest treasures of God. Can I shock you sir? Light is God and God is light. To have light is to have God. Not to have light is the absence of God. First John chapter 1 verse 5. This is the message. That God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. There is no sickness at all. God is light. The only molecule that can describe God is light. He functions in light. He dwells in light unapproachable. When he sits, light surrounds him. Can I talk to somebody here? Heaven is not the home of God. Heaven is the home of the believer. Am I talking to somebody here? And where is God? God is in the believer. The believer is God's heaven. God lives in light. Before the beginning began, he began the beginning. Where was he when the beginning began? He cut the banacle in himself. First Timothy 6 verse 16. The Bible said, Great is the mission tree of godliness no 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 this is a who alone sorry i'm quoting second timothy 3 16 6 16 says who has immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto whom no man has seen or can see who be honor glory and everlasting sir god tabernacle in himself he is light he lives inside light he walks in light where is the house of god light where does God stay? Inside light. Who is God? Light. Who is the believer? Light. Can I prophesy to you? From today, you are a God to your generation. You are a light to your family. You are a light to your father's house. Anywhere you enter, light has appeared. Anywhere you go, light has gone. Anywhere you reach, light has reached. Lift up your hands, shout, I am light. Little me answer, I'm a creature of light. Say, I'm designed for the light. Take your seat. No works of God succeed outside light. Light is the activity. When God decides to manifest. Light is that activity. The workstation of God is light. Before God goes into work, he introduces light. No man can succeed except by light. Oh. Anything you do with that light, sir, it will produce nothing. We are not the children of darkness. We belong to the light. If you want to walk the walk of God, sir, never take step until you are lighted. What light do you have about the man you want to marry? What light? Light is revelation. Light is understanding. Actually, light is the substance of understanding. And understanding is the parameters that guarantee outstanding exploits. 
The man you marry, are you lighted? That business you started, what light did you get? You have no right to rise until there is light. That's why Isaiah 60 says, Arise and shine. For your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. When light comes, rising is spontaneous. When light comes, sir, rising is cataslamic. Rising is sporadic. Rising is instant. When you are lighted, you cannot be a victim of satanic wickedness, oppressions, and darkness. If I hear your amen, light is entering your life now. Receive that light. 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 So light is the substance of understanding. And understanding is the ability to comprehend light. Any man that can lay hold on light has understanding. And understanding, sir, brings manifestations. The dominion of light over darkness is instant. Sir, the absence of light is darkness. That Satan operates by darkness. God operates by light. Darkness is the signature of the devil. Darkness is the factory of all wickedness. Darkness, child of God, is the force that arrests destiny rising. Where there's darkness, men sit on the floor. That in one day, is so that our light can shine. Mm. Because when we fast, he said, then shall your light break forth like the morning. There's a morning. Anything you do that is called spiritual exercise, that does not bring you to light, is charismatic affliction and corporal punishment. Can I talk to you, sir? Anytime you do spiritual exercise, one light will hit you. One light. Light is a revelation. Light is a rheumatic. Light is that individualistic truth that makes you to take certain actions that others can't take. You can't be lighted and sit on the floor. Every inaction is a function of lack of light. That's why when Baba takes some step, it is because he's lighted. Let God arise is a function of light. Not many churches can gather people for 31 days. No, on the 23 days, the house will be empty. He takes light. He had something. The voice of God dwells in light. The capacity of the spirit is persecuted by light. What we call healing is the life of light. What we call deliverance is the life of light. When light enters you, life comes out of light. Mm. That is what we call healing. That's what we call deliverance. Hear me and hear me today. This will be the last day darkness will triumph over here. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 3. Light excelleth above darkness. Anywhere you go from today, may you excel above darkness. I say may you excel above darkness. I say may you excel above darkness. I mean Ecclesiastes 2 13. Light excelleth above darkness. I prophesy from today you are light. 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 May you excel. May you excel. May you excel. Job 19.8. Job said, He fenced me with darkness that I cannot come out. Stagnation is a function of darkness. He has fenced me up by the way and I cannot pass. He has set darkness in my path. That is why I look confused, perplexed, full of despondency, catastrophe and cataclysm. But until light comes. That's why Job said, When the secrets of God were with me, when my feet poured for me rivers of oil. When by light I walk through darkness. By light. By light. By light. My, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemy rise up against me because I am lighted. They stumble and fall. The war encompass against me in the Oh, I can see, I can say, and I know it's your grace all my days. I, I will see your prayer. I can see, I can say, and, and I, I know, know it's your, your grace all my, my days. days. I will see your breath. Proverbs 19 2, the Bible says, It is not good for the soul to be without light because light is knowledge. It is not good for the soul to be without light. It is not good. 
your soul will be troubled, tormented, harassed, brutalized once you lack light. Hear me tonight. As we round up, let God arise. Everything you do from today forward, light will shine on your paths. Receive light over your marriage. Receive light over your business. Receive light over your career. Receive light over your destiny. Receive light over your children. Receive light over your job. Receive light over that direction. Lift up your hands and let there be light. Finally. Finally. Anytime there is an outpouring. We enjoy vengeance and recompense. Outpouring. Brings on us the visitation of vengeance. And recompense. Child of God. The Bible says no man followeth me. That shall not be rewarded in this world. Plus persecution. Sir. Prosperity. Without vengeance. You will suffer execution. Enemies. Are the benefit of prosperity. Enemies. Are the benefit of promotion. Any day you be great. You will have enemies. If you don't want to have enemy, be a nobody. But the day you chose to rise, get ready for enemies. Bed by outpouring. As they come, they fall before your face. I don't like that your amen. They fall before your face. I say they fall before your face. They fall before your face. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hear this, sir. As much as God wants to prosper you, your prosperity will come with persecution. Church growth will come with persecution. Good marriage will come with persecution. Your children making it will come with persecution. But can I shock you, sir? 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 Prosperity without vengeance, you can't escape execution. Without vengeance. You can't escape execution. Hey! Without vengeance, James' head was removed just like that. James, an apostle of prayer, who said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man, availed much. Herod arrested him. No sound was made. So no vengeance was executed. So he suffered execution. But when he took Peter, the church said, not Peter. By tenacity in the spirit, by the kind of sound they made, the Bible said prayer was made, which means that the kind of prayer they pray for Peter has never existed. They manufactured it through spiritual articulations. And by the time they said it in the realm of the spirit, angel appeared and released Peter. Peter persecution could not suffer execution because of vengeance. The angel that released Peter didn't go to heaven. It was the same angel that slapped Herod. Eastern maggot came out of his body. Because of the level of the slap, it, 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 it released the acceleration of the composition. So that the man started smelling instantly. By reason of the slap, it takes vengeance. It takes vengeance. It takes vengeance. It takes vengeance. One man came and marked our church and told me that he's coming in seven days to come and bring down the church. I said, they will bring your dead body here. It's your dead body that will be brought here for prayer. On the sixth day, his dead body was on the street. Matter close. There are people that if they don't die, the purpose of outpouring cannot be executed. Outpouring is for outreach. That is why Paul wanted to preach to the dupity. But there was a man called Bar Jesus. Hausa means Bar Shide Jesus. Bar Jesus means he doesn't have Jesus. Was diverting Paul the apostle, the, the, the dupity governor. 
St. Jews by name, not to hear the gospel. And Paul looked at him, full of the Holy Ghost. Nekosi kataya. Full of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is not only to dispense grace. Holy Ghost is to execute vengeance. The Bible said, Peter, full of the Holy Ghost. Look at it. Then Saul, who is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. And what did he say? Thou servant of Satan, thou full of subtlety and mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemies of all righteousness, when will thou cease to pervert the ways of the Lord? He went on and said, Behold, behold, from now henceforth, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. Thou shalt be blind. You will not see the sun for a season. A season can be 10 years. Can be 50 years. The man who gives the season is a determinant of the longevity of that season. You shall be blind for a season. You shall not see the sun. A deadly, not tomorrow. A deadly. There are some ventures that if God delay, the enemy will have you as a suya. If God had delayed five minutes, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego would have been bent in the fire. If God had delayed five minutes, the lions would have had a master in over Daniel. But our God is a God of on time. Somebody say immediately. I prophesy as you live here tonight, anyone beating their chest and say, Come and succeed, let me see. Woo. Anyone that has swore that your mother's children will not rise, if I hear your amen, they die. 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 Sir, come. For too long, your prosperity has been held down. But the Lord said, your heart will give you your accounts. As I release you, Bezalia unction will come on you. You begin to make money like drinking cocoa. Who told you it is over? Pegas! Adamiri Bezaidamo! Olori Ejari! Gine me uso! Ebusone digi, odigi onye di kaki. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a witch in the realm of the spirit. I'm hearing pray for Sam, Sam Sule, Sam Sule. Run to me here, if that is your name. I'm hearing Sam Sule. Come here, sir. The Lord is speaking to me. That if my hand does not come on you, you have no ministry to tell your generation. There is a wicked native doctor I am seeing in the realm of the spirit that is working against you. He has sat on the life of your wife. I'm seeing a disease that is not curable. I'm seeing something like schizophrenia. Am I right? Schizophrenia. I'm seeing a disease that comes on her time to time and in the realm of the spirit even few days ago you borrowed 300,000 you are correct sir 300,000 you are right sir you struggle to get that money because her health has been eating millions you are right sir and you borrow 300,000 yes, you sir. spend it on her health yes sir yesterday the money remained 40,000 you are right sir and yesterday you came out to give 12,000 you are right sir out of the 40,000 you are telling God, Lord, see me. Oh. Where will I run if this money is finished? How will my wife be healed if this money is finished? Thus says the Lord, three things will happen now. The native doctor will die this night. Oye 
Oye kore ke wero we a Oye buri so funo so Oye ene siri god riave Chuko bube via Number 2 That sickness is returning back to sender Number 3 The ministry I gave you Today a new dawn begins There are 42 women A witch sat on their stomach I am seeing it in the spirit But I am full of the Holy Ghost Any woman that will kneel on this altar Will carry twins Triplets Twins Triplets Twins Triplets Kneel on the altar And cry to them Receive your testimony. As you stand up from this place, as you return to your seat, I command you be pregnant now. Stand on your feet and go. Your baby is let God arise, baby. 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 With passports, God is giving them international businesses. They are moving from Nera to dollars. As I see them in the realm of the spirit, their level has just changed tonight. 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 Changed tonight. If you have your passport, touch the altar. Something has happened right now. International doors has opened. of you without recompense and vengeance you will be buffeted for a long time but tonight your affliction comes to an end those that are looking for your life in 24 hours they are dead they are dead they are dead. They are dead. I see 49 strong men in your family. That person have killed people and killed people. And killed people and killed people. And told you what can you do? If you touch this altar, your deliverance is released now. Oh, with your love. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, I can be open and have no fear. For a bounty, for a bounty, hey. you have that I can throw. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is why that you will remember me. One more time, say, by recompense, my God. Ate the body of Herod speedily. Recompense is dogs licking the body of Jezebel and Jezreel, forever killing the prophet with a sword. Recompense is Egypt losing her firstborn for daring to keep Israel 
in captivity for 430 years anything you have suffered because of wicked men i am full of the holy ghost 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 tonight they shall pay 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 say out of my belly oh Say I rock my belly, oh, I rock my belly, oh, my belly, oh, my belly, oh, river. river, rivers of living water, yeah, yeah, oh, say I rock my belly, I rock my belly, oh, 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 Listen as I conclude. A young man in Joss, finished uni Joss, went to US, studied for 10 years, came back without job, read all the petrochemical he could read for 10 years, returned without job. He attended my kind of service like this. And I gave them prayer like I gave you last night. He went home and continued to pray. By 2 midnight, a wind blew through the window he didn't lock. The wind entered the parlor. The wind carried a portrait where he took picture of his graduation from the university. And he hanged it on their family parlor. The wind came and lifted the picture. Crashed it on the ground. And that picture is that kind of picture, those old days pictures that have glass and cut on behind and wood by the side round about how many of you know that kind of poster and when he landed on the ground the glass broke the wood went one side the carton went one side the picture went one side so in the midst of the prayer he was wondering what kind of wind is this that will throw his portrait down he reached out to pick the portrait the picture was on his back what did he see seven courses Number one, the, static, the picture she wrote behind, she said, let this certificate be like a paper in your hand. Number two, may you never have a wife that will call you husband. Number three, may you not have children that will call you a father. Who gave, who did that portrait? His mother's sister. She said, I will not come for your graduation, but give me your picture, let me make a portrait for you. So she gave, he gave her the picture, she made the portrait. He hung the portrait for 12 years he didn't know that what was fighting him was inside but the day he was full of the holy ghost the day he prayed a little abnormal and made certain sounds by reason of light holy ghost showed up like a wind and pulled down the thing and when he saw it, he was a child of light. He knows what to do. Father, is this what my sister wished me? I return it back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. He began to pray for one hour back to sender. The woman shouted in her dream. And woke up and called his name. James, you have killed me. She started vomiting blood. Confessed and died. This thing happened on a Sunday eve night to Monday. Tuesday, Cher called him and said, Are you so so and so? Did you write an interview, uh, I mean, exams for job three years ago? He said, Yes. He said, We knew that you are a specialist in this particular area. We've been looking for who to handle it. We couldn't find what you wrote until yesterday's morning. When I saw it, you were the kind of person we are looking for. And they gave him yearly salary of 54 million. Parano. And they gave him a driver and a car. Overnight. Captivity. Was turned around. 
If I hear your amen, yes, Holy Ghost is coming on you tonight. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is coming on you tonight. Yeah. We are going to pray now. Mm. Number one, you will pray like a wounded lion. Number two, you will pray as creature of light. You know what you want. You know the scripture to apply. Number three, you must make sound. To be quiet is to be buried. You must make some sound. Pentecost was accompanied by sound. You must speak sufficiently. It will enter your village. It will go to Agbo. It will go to Ugeli. It will go to Isoko land. It will go to Yorubo land. It will go to Shekiri land. I say it will go. It will travel. It will travel to again and go there. It will get to Auchi. It will travel. It will travel to Benin Kingdom. It will go to Yanagua. It will go to the riverlands. It will go tonight. Your voice will sound. So wicked men will shrink and die this night. Today is the last day of let God arise. Are you ready? When I shout one, two, go. You will call in the name of Jesus with your own language. If you are Yoruba, you shall Oruko Jesu. You will start prayer. Father, as it is written, you begin to speak by light. I cannot remain unmarried if your own is marriage. I cannot remain barren. I make declaration. The Bible says, He make it the barren to keep house and become the rejoicing mother of children. You begin to quote, I begin to quote, None shall lack her, her mate in Zion for those who want to marry. You begin to quote, you begin to quote, then begin to chant. Somebody say, chant. You chant over your marriage, your business, your ministry. Hey, if somebody around you is not praying, change your seat. He's a suspect. He may be the witch sent from India to stop your blessing. Are you ready? If your house are a chicken sooner, yes. I don't know how he will play. You will pray all. And as you are praying, you are clapping. Because witches hate clapping. Clapping, send them faster. In the realm of the spirit, it's a spirit of disgrace. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? At the count of three, you only have three minutes to prosecute sounds by light. And I will pray, Baba, we pray, your deliverance will be instant. Are you ready? At the count of three, one. Two, three. I said pray. I said pray. I said pray. I said pray. Make some sound. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, baraka da baraka da baso. Ila kada kada baraka da kada baso. Ebra da la baraka da baraka da baraka baso. Iya kada kala baraka da baso. Iya baraka da kala baraka da baraka baso. E baraka tele brege de gele bo. Ya barada la barada barada barada. Ya barada la barada la barada. Shanda la barada barada barada. Koro 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 kele barada la barada. Ya barada la barada. Hello! 
that changes love. You are you are you are you are you are you are Jehovah. Oh, you are you are you are you are you are you are Jehovah. You are the love that changes love. Pray, 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 pray. You are the love that changes love. From ages to ages, who never changed. From generation, you never changed. Father, you are, 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 Father, you are, 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 you you are the Lord that changes love. Change, 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 signing it was a letter of lifting i saw that you will be announced <laughs> ma come i saw your glory released for too long you be kept on one side it's over <laughs> Lift your file up. Shaka pakata. Sir, can I pray for you? Take the fire. Take the fire. Target! 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 Every spirit of death over you. Cancel. God said, I shall ask you, can he trust you? You. He said, can he trust you? That no matter what he makes out of you, can you be trusted? Lift up your hand and say, Lord, trust me. I am ready to be blessed. <laughs> Wealth, enter his life. You, I saw you crossing rivers. Come here, this lady in red. Come here. Lift up your hands. Do you have passport? Go and buy one. Look at me. <laughs> it's on you. Oh my God, the course of time. Everybody, that file on the right side is with blue biro. What God must do before Jubilee. On the left side of the file is what must not happen in your life. What God must destroy this night. Are you ready for that prayer? Leave the file, open it. Open it. Say after me, my father, my father. In this last day of the feast, in these 31 days of let God arise, I make a sound that must release my manifestation. The things on my left side of the fire, I don't want to see it. As I make a pronouncement, as I make sound in the spirit, every foul spirit, Perpetuating this darkness in my life from this left side of the fire, cancelled by fire. Open your mouth and cancel it. Open your mouth. Oh, great is our God. Say, oh, great. Oh, great is our God. Oh, see with me, oh, 
Jesus' name. Lift it up. Say, Father, on the right side of the fire, this is my expectation. Before Jubilee 2023, before 5th to 15th of November, I call this thing forth into manifestation. This shall be my reality. As I make a sound, let it become my manifestation. Open your mouth and make some sounds. Father to Father, Spirit to Spirit, louder by your word. With your bread of life, that's how I come my life. Hey, that's how I come. In Jesus' name, lift it up. I prophesy. Let this five receive the attention of testimony now. Everything you wrote here shall be your realities. I confirm the hand of the Lord upon your life now. Let this team, by the time I return in Jubilee, to open the jubilee for other fathers to speak I declare you will enter this building with evidence in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I prophesy so shall it be in Jesus name 